Finally this evening, Adam finds out how a local woman's gardening in a bland bush ended up blooming around the world on tonight's Sawatsky sign-off. It was about four years ago that Lisa first embarked upon the bushes. No one else knows about it. This is our little secret, right? <laughs> Along the bland back of this bank building. And uh, they seem to have really taken off. She's been burying bulbs. The gladiolus I put in last week are starting to come out. Random acts of gardening. Kind of nice to think that the flowers are out here and maybe other people's moms will like it. Others, not Lisa's, whose passing prompted this. It can be really dark and really da sad and depressing. And but instead of retreating into herself like she usually would, Lisa reached out to a new friend and fellow only child, Tim. So we decided to become siblings so that we'd always have someone to talk to later on. She also decided to commit a random act of filmmaking. So I ended up using some of my, my retirement savings to help get that movie made. Well, I'm standing right here. The UVic geography teacher became the executive producer of her new brother's feature-length film, Dirty Beautiful. It's won some prizes. It's won like 40-something prizes on the, on the film circuit. Accolades that inspired Lisa to search for more unique ways to help others, like when she donated a bed protector to a young Syrian refugee. Because their kid was having nightmares and wetting the bed. Just little stuff like that. But things turned out to be anything but little after Lisa planted this random act of silliness. Inspired by press secretary Sean Spicer's media briefing amongst the White House bushes. Just makes me feel better when it cheers people up. Lisa posted the photo for a few friends on Facebook, never expecting it to be shared by 100,000 strangers, temporarily crash the file sharing site Dropbox, inspire countless copies around the world, and earn international media attention. And now I guess I'm kind of like internet married to Sean Spicer. <laughs> Although her online legacy will be the Garden Spicer, Lisa remains committed to her real-life contribution of growing random smiles. Especially after losing mom, I realize how short life is. When you're born, it's like you've been thrown off a building. You don't know how tall the building is or when you're going to impact. You know what's going to happen sometime. And you can either cry and wail all the way down or you can enjoy free fall. Adam Sawatsky, CTV News, Saanich.